we're going to look at a example of SL1 detecting a baseline deviation in a metric that's being monitored. Uh, we're going to be look at CPU on a server. If it detects that that next value for CPU is abnormal, it will go ahead and kick off an event. And when that event kicks off, it's going to do a number of things. It's going to kick off some automations. The automations are a combination of things that will open up an incident in an external CMDB system, in this case ServiceNow. Uh, we see that it just detected the deviation from baseline. Once that is open in ServiceNow, we're going to go ahead and have another automation that collects data about what is going on on this particular server instance and updates the ServiceNow incident with some basic diagnostic information that a typical uh, engineer uh, might look for. And now we see the ticket has just uh, appeared. So let's open that up. In this case, we know that the server has a kind of a behavior. The, this server farm has a particular application, it's a PHP web application, and the engineering team knows that when that spikes, we need to go ahead and kill that process, and the web service will be up and running again, because they've noticed this over time. So what we see now in the incident is the remediation, where we detected the process that was spiked and issued a kill command on that. So now that that has been issued, we're doing our normal polling, and in the next poll, the system will detect that the CPU is no longer spiked. Uh, we expect it to resume back to normal. There should be a new notification that the value has returned to baseline. You see in the background that graph is actually, we saw the spike go up, it's, it's returning back to normal. After that next poll, it'll determine that the value has returned to a normal range of what is expected for this hour of the day. Automation should kick off which goes ahead and clears the event and closes the ticket, indicating that everything is back to normal. And all of this can happen, as I'm demonstrating here, without any human interaction, right? I didn't open the ticket. I didn't do a CLI command that uh, came in here and, and pulled process information or disk volume capacities. All this happened automatically. Uh, we see that the clear just uh, came in. So the system detected the problem, opened the ticket, enriched the ticket, issued a remediation, detected it returned back to normal, and now we see that we have our ticket in a resolved state and that it has been cleared. So we'll go ahead and close that on out, and we have a uh, message that everything has returned back to normal. So that is uh, an example of how ScienceLogic SL1 can detect baseline deviations and then kick off a number of different automations to increase the efficiency and reduce the amount of time it takes for the operations team to resolve issues. Thank you very much.